Hey YouTube, this is Troy. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video on how I do my water changes. So, first I was going to just give you a little update. The tank's been cycled for about a couple weeks. Went through the diatom bloom, and then coming out of the diatom bloom, cyanobacteria. I know it sucks. So, I'm fighting that. Um, probably do a different video on that, but um, it was a lot worse, and I think I'm actually probably on the the road of recovery. I have a pretty significant patch here in the sand, and also here in the sand, and um, most of the rocks. I did have some on the rocks as well, and uh, it's dying off on the rocks. So, um, but that's not why the video is on, or why I'm making this video. So how do I do a water change? Basically my return, I take my flex tubes and I point them down to the point where I want, well these are actually pointed down as far as they possibly can go. Typically they're, they're pointed up a little bit. Um, and I just clean the glass so there's a bunch of junk floating around in the tank. But basically what I'm going to do is I shut off my return pump. I have back up here a couple five gallon buckets my garbage water I have this pipe coming out and it is plumbed into my supply so basically what I end up doing is turning this valve letting the siphon kick in and it uh, fills up my garbage bucket what Basically, I calculated the water when I was filling it, um, and it is truly about 90 gallons with the sump and the water that's in the tank. Pretty much to fill it up is is an equivalent of 90 gallons. So, what I end up doing is taking like four five-gallon pails. I don't fill the five-gallon pail all the way to the top, so it's probably you know, it's probably 16 gallons is what amounts to be in a water change, which is uh, right at the 20% level. So basically what I'm going to do, I just want to quickly show you how the plumbing works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let these take out my, my water, my garbage water. I have to shut my MP40s off here in a second because they're going to be exposed to air. And, um, and then I'll make the second half of the video, which will be... Uh, basically filling or returning back the uh, the fresh uh, salt water mix. So um, basically what ends up happening is when this bucket gets to the point where it's probably three inches from the top, I'll go back to that valve and I'll shut it, remove this bucket, go dump it, and then basically start filling this bucket. So I just kind of basically alternate these two buckets until I get four four buckets full emptied and uh, then I put the good water in so this is pretty close to the level where I will shut off the supply here now so I'll go in here and basically shut it off and uh, start emptying out the rest so when I come back it'll be Time to fill it up. All right. See you in a bit. All right. So I removed the water out. Basically, I don't know how well you can see, kind of readjusted my inlets. And there's all the fresh water. Yeah, I'm pumped down below. Kind of the same fixture I had before plugged in, and then basically my little light switch here. If I flip that on, lights come on. We've also got the power cord to the Eheim. And it slowly starts pumping the water back in. So that is, sorry for the camera work here, guys. That is basically how I do my water change. So just sit here, 
let this thing pump everything back in basically my my bucket on wheels and that's the nuts and bolts of it after it gets done I unscrew the union there take that out shut the valve turn everything back on and then I'm done next video will be on me getting rid of all this I'm trying the natural way I don't want to treat the tank you know I got my GFO running I've been swapping that out about every you know three weeks or so it's my rabbit fish skimmer's been I've been cleaning the skimmer about every two days and so so I've been trying to lightly feed everybody And this is just my routine every two week water change. So I'm kind of sticking to that same routine. Obviously I have phosphates. So hopefully I can uh, get rid of that. But I'll, I'll do a follow up video let you guys know uh, where I'm at with that. If I ended up having to treat it or not. But uh, that's all I got. Alright, quick little video on uh, my water change. Alright, later.